Hey guys, Rana here and today we're going to see how you can create a registration form in your WordPress website like this. By creating this kind of registration form, you can easily get in touch with your visitor or you can easily send them an update about your WordPress website. Moreover, you will learn how to restrict any kind of content in your WordPress website to register user only. Let's see how you can do it. Okay, let's go to the dashboard of your WordPress website and here we're going to install a plugin. Let's have your mouse over plugins and click on add new. Come over here and search for ultimate members and install this plugin. Now click on activate. Okay, once you activate the plugin, now we are going to install all the required pages. Let's go ahead and click on this button right here, create pages. Now this plugin will create all these pages. To check it, let's go to pages, click on all pages. If you scroll down, you can see we have all these pages. Let's view the register page. So right now I am logged in as an admin. If I open this page in a private window, let me show you what I mean by that. So here you can see this is our register page. We are visitor of your website can fill this form and register themselves on your website. Let's go back to the dashboard of your WordPress. Let's close this one. And now I'm going to show you how you can add these pages into your menu. First, let's have your mouse over here and let's visit your site in a new tab. In order to add these pages into menu, let's click on customize and now go to menus and select the menu where you want to add these pages. I'm going to select this one, this top menu. To add these pages or any item to this menu, click on this button, add items. Go to pages, you can expand the pages like that and add the pages that you want. I'm going to add a register login, account page and logout page. Once you do it, don't forget to click on publish. Okay, now let's change the visibility of these pages on this menu. For example, what kind of visitor should see these pages? To change the visibility of these pages, let's go back to the dashboard of your WordPress. Let's have your mouse over appearance and click on menus. And here, select the menu. Click select. And here, expand a register page and change the visibility from here. Select logout user, collapse this. In the same way, we're going to change the visibility of rest of the pages. Expand the login, select logout user, let's go to account. This time, we're going to select login user. And now select subscriber, expand logout, select logged in user, select subscriber here as well. Once you do it, don't forget to click on save menu. Now let's go to the private window. Let's go to the home page. So here you can see we have a register page and login page. Let's try to register, fill this form and click register. So here you can see we have registered successfully and now we have account page and logout page on this menu. We don't have register and login page anymore. And one more thing, if you have noticed that we have registered ourselves automatically, admin doesn't have to approve the user. If you want a manual approval on your website, and there are two methods to set a manual approval on your website for a new visitor. To do it, have your mouse over ultimate member and go to user role. And select subscriber, scroll down. Under the registration option, registration status is now set to auto approve. Let's change it to require admin review. This way you have to or admin has to manually approve the user in order to register themselves on this website. Another way to set manual approval is required a email activation. By selecting this option, a new visitor will receive a email notification where they have to verify themselves by opening the verification link. That way they can verify themselves or they can approve themselves on this website. Okay, once you do it, don't forget to click on update role. Now let me show you how you can enable the email notification when someone do any activity on your website. For example, if someone visit on your site and register themselves and you want to get notified who is registered on your website, all you have to do, just go to this plugin ultimate member and then click on settings and then go to email and here you have to activate account activation email, click on that. Check this box and then click on save changes. 
Now you will get notified when someone is on your website. In the same way, you can activate another email notifications for different types of activities. Your account is pending review. If you want to enable this option, go ahead and activate and don't forget to click on save changes. So I recommend you to enable all of these options. I'm going to quickly enable all of them. All right, guys. So now we are done with the email notification as well. So now let's look at how you can restrict any kind of content on your website so that only register user can view that content. Go to access tab and here scroll down. Here you can select post, category, pages, tag and media as well. Right now I'm going to select three types of content, post, categories, pages. Once I'm happy with my changes, I'm going to click on save changes. Now let me show you how you can restrict any pages. Go to pages, click on all pages. Let's restrict this one. Adobe After Effects tutorial. This is Hindi version of this page. Let's restrict this page. In order to restrict this page, for example, only register user can see this page. In order to do that, let's click on edit page. Scroll down. At the very bottom, you will see this section, ultimate member content restrictions. Make sure you check this option if you want to restrict this one. Who can access this post? Only logged in user. Okay. And then select subscriber. What happens when users without access try to view this post? Show access restrict message. Okay. Which is good or you can change something else or you can redirect them to different page. I'm gonna select this option. Show access restricted message. Once you do it, don't forget to click on update. Now copy the URL. Now open a private window or you can go to this page by clicking over here. Right now I'm logged in. Let's quickly log out. And now if I try to open the same page, you can see it says restricted content. Let's log in once again. Click on login. Now you can see I can access the content by login. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how you can restrict the content in a bulk to do it. Let's go back to the dashboard of your website and now hover your mouse over post and then click on categories here I'm gonna select after effect scroll down and now check this box to restrict this category and here I'm gonna select logged in user and then select subscriber scroll down at the very bottom and click on update now let's go to this category let's go to private window and click on after effect right now I'm logged in user let's quickly logged out let's click on after effect it says restricted content you can see After Effect tutorial or you can go to the category of After Effect. You can see this content is restricted as well. So this is how you can restrict a content on your website in a bulk. Now I'm going to show you how you can approve a user or you can reject a user or you can set it to pending review and let's see how you can do it. Let's go to the dashboard. If you don't like any user, you can remove them as well. Let's go to users, click on all users. And here you can see we have only one user and now select it by checking this box and go to this ultimate member action drop down menu and from here you can approve the member you can reject the member or you can put as pending review or you can send them an activation email deactivate act, reactivate you can do anything you want from here let's put as a pending review click apply and look at here you can see now status is pending review let's approve the user by selecting approve membership now status says approved so this is how you approve a user reject a user stuff like that all right guys that's the end of this video guys i hope you enjoy the video if you learned something from today's video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one and don't forget to check out these two videos right here that being said goodbye and i'll see you next time